Hi guys, welcome to little my little pink talks. <laughs> Alright, so today on today's edition of my little TED talk, I'm going to talk about the layover slash flying with a baby. So this wasn't our first time when our son was five months old. We flew to New York. So that was like a two hour and 20 minute flight, but he was five months old. It was a nighttime flight, so we pretty much were able to uh, nip that one in the butt. When they're five months, they sleep most of the time anyway, so all you have to do is just play your cards right and get them tired before the flight. So now, as a one and a half year old, they're a lot more difficult to travel with, but it nonetheless is totally fun if you, you know, you pack right, you do it right. So for our last flight, we had, um, we went to Washington DC, well to Baltimore, and we had a five hour layover in our first uh, flight. We flew from Miami to Georgia, Atlanta, and then we flew from Atlanta to Baltimore. But, <laughs> there's always a but. Um, our layover in Atlanta was from 1 a.m. to 7 a.m. So while that sounds horrible, there is six hour layover. Um, it was, uh, daylight savings so at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. whatever the clocks went forward so instead of waiting six hours we actually ended up only waiting five hours so that was totally a bright side to it um, another bright side is that they like totally do board before um, before 7 a.m. so it made the process seem like okay like four hours um, Chase, right, he likes it Say hi. Okay, so are you ready to focus? We're on we're on air. Okay. So <laughs> um after the five hour layover, um I am not a sleeper. Like I don't like I can't fall asleep in the car. I can't fall asleep like on an airplane unless I'm dead tired. I, I must be like drained. So um, I was awake that morning. I woke up Saturday morning like a regular person. I was awake until For like over 30 hours after this. It was really intense, whatever. So For the layover he Jace actually fell asleep on the flight. So the flight from Miami to Atlanta smooth, but for the layover he was awake the whole time Meaning I had to be awake the whole time. Like at one point I think like Junior started watching him my husband and uh, can you, can we not do that? I need it back. He makes the rules. Anyway, so I definitely was full of regrets at one point. I'm like, wow, it's 5 a.m., 4 a.m. and I'm awake as hell. This chop, like I have videos of him watching like, I had my portable DVD player with us. I had my laptop that I was working. Um, and wow, like he was literally awake the entire layover. He did not nap in the layover, which is weird because he's a really good sleeper. So, um, getting on the flight at 7 a.m. or whatever it was, 6 a.m., uh, he did sleep on the flight and I slept on the flight. Um, so that was like that little hour and a half charge from Atlanta to Washington, D.C. was all I like rested in over 24 hours so we get to baltimore i'm freaking dead like junior dead jay's i have a video of him also sleeping in the car like our boy jay savage uh picked us up oh my god he must have i did so rough and then i on top of everything we meet up with my cousin who's waiting for us at the hotel because she had a direct flight from miami to washington dc at like 7 a.m ended up whatever don't don't talk to me i, I flew with spirit and that was not my first time, but it might be one of my last times. That was such a struggle, man. Like, those seats are so uncomfortable. I remember just, like, turning over because, oh, my God, my butt felt like it was about to fall off. Like, it was so rough. Um, so then Hello? we basically... Hello? Hello? He pretends he's on the phone with everything. Like that really it taught me so much like sometimes it's i don't want to say it wasn't worth it but not sleeping junior night comfortably in 
like 36 hours that was really 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 hard on our body like it, a, a whole day of our vacation we didn't fight but we were just like fed up we were exhausted and then spending the whole next day after we slept for eight hours um <clears throat> walking around washington dc like holy crap like we after getting back from that vacation it felt like we didn't even go on vacation i was so tired <coughs> And so you're not thinking that. Okay. Oh, my goodness. You're not taking them. I'm gonna throw eight, 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 eight. eight. <laughs> Oh my god, you're ruining my video. Alrighty, anyway, sorry about all that. Um, basically, my advice to you guys to like, okay, it wasn't that bad because I've been back for like nine days and I already booked another flight. Um, but I was so conscious and I wasn't cheap. Like going on this last to Washington DC, I was so cheap about it. I was like flying spirit. Uh, picking the back of that aircraft so you know the struggle ain't that real like ten dollars per seat bro I was like I'm taking one um luggage for the three of us look I was seriously like so cheap about it and then my experience though on the aircraft was a cheap experience so that's what you have to remember if you're cheap don't be upset when shit happens and it was a little rough so this vacation I'm going uh, I leave in May I'm going for five days to Dominican Republic I'm flying American Airlines both ways non-stop so I for sure learned my lesson um, I'm flying at normal times I'm you know I calculated this next trip so that way it felt like a vacation and not like a fucking school trip because that's what this last experience was like it was so intense it was so intense that like Yo, me and Junior at one point, yo, I would have punched that man if that was okay, but it's not okay. Don't punch your man. So yeah, um, stay tuned. My recommendation is if you're going to travel with a baby, try not to get a six-hour layover. Um, try to always remember, you know, a tablet. Download your, your videos because I remember I will... At one point on the aircraft, he was literally kicking the lady in front of us who wanted to turn around to say something. I wanted to be like, bitch, you're flying spirit. Like, turn the fuck around. Your ticket was like a hundred bucks. Um, so now we're going to be flying a little classier with American Airlines. I have really heard shitty things about them too. But I guess when it comes to flying, everything is so unpredictable. Flights are delayed. Shit happens. Weather happens. And so, you know, uh... I'm expecting though, a really good trip. I'm really excited for our next one in like a month and a half. And yeah, I'll definitely be doing a video about that too. I posted my video already about Washington DC. I posted my video, I think last year on New York. And if it's not on YouTube, then it's on my Instagram, Little Pink Drixer. Um, but yeah, so let me know what you want to see. Uh, this will probably be my next, my last flying vacay of the year. Um, we're probably going to keep it simple. Disney and my end of the year trip is going to be going to a cabin with snow. So probably drive that one out. Drive it up to Virginia. Drive it up to North Carolina. I don't know because I'm not driving. Um, but yeah, that's definitely what I want to do. But stay tuned. Subscribe. Comment. Let me know. What do you want to see? Where do you want me to go?